Once again, YouTube has screwed me over and my channel is on the brink of deletion. So I've made a Rumble account and I will continue to upload more of my uncensored content over there. But even more importantly, I've started a new YouTube channel. It's at Tom Camposano. All the links are in the description box below. Now more than ever, I would truly appreciate any support on patreon.com slash your mate Tom. Even if you chuck in a dollar mate or two or ten or a hundred, up to you. Any amount is truly appreciated. Much love. So I've been doing YouTube for about seven years, five years full time. I've been on an epic journey with you guys. I've met my heroes, I've traveled the world, I've had life-changing experiences, all while gone through this self-development journey, which I've had the privilege of sharing with you guys. But today is the day where I've had to make a hard decision. For those who don't know, I had two strikes on this channel in the last month, and they're my first strikes. I've dealt with this before on YouTube. Sometimes I have to go back and forth. This time around, my first strike, the appeal was rejected completely. They say that I'm promoting the creation of hard drugs because I helped make a safety guide on psilocybin mushrooms and helping people to avoid poisonous mushrooms. And I don't even want to get into that because honestly, it just pisses me off. To get two strikes in a month for the same type of content, right? Making educational documentaries on psilocybin mushrooms. I don't know, man, after seven years of this stuff, it gets to the point where you question whether or not climbing this steep mountain and crawling over glass is worth it. I've decided that I'm no longer gonna be on YouTube. Nah, nah, I'm just joking. I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing, but I have a very special announcement and this is very important. It's funny how the ego resists in something that you know deep down that you should do and for a long time I've wanted to start like a blank slate, right? Start a new channel, but be more focused in my core principles, something that this channel has been about. So I've started a new channel. It's my name, Tom Camposano, if you guys didn't know. This channel is basically going to be what your mate Tom was really about in its core principles, which is about self-development, exploring the human mind, different cultures, but in a grounded, honest and authentic way. I think that this is going to be a beautiful opportunity for me to have creative liberty and maybe step away. I don't even know why I'm saying maybe. Definitely stepping away from psychedelics, at least when it comes to this new channel. So if you guys want to join me on this new journey, you're more than welcome to. Like, subscribe, help get this channel off the ground. Help us get to the thousand subscriber mark and the 4,000 our watch time. I've already uploaded a fair few videos. One was like a documentary on stray cats in Turkey. Other ones is like POV photography in the streets of Delhi. Other ones is about me and Yesenia's relationship. All that Tom and Yesenia content, because I know that some of you guys follow this channel because of that. This channel will definitely be your cup of tea. Now for all of you guys who are following me on Your Mate Tom, I'm not going to stop doing this. However, I feel like with this channel, my creative liberties have reached its limit not because of my own creativity but because of what i feel like i can and can't do and it gets i don't know man i feel like i'm censoring myself too much on this channel i will continue to make content on this channel but it'll just be more focused on you know psychedelic shamanism spirituality i suppose i've already deleted many of my mushroom content millions of views and i've done this throughout the years i've probably deleted like 10 to 15 maybe even 20 million views worth of content every time you do this your channel takes another hit and another hit and then the algorithm punishes you especially when you have a strike on your channel and i have lots of other content that youtube could strike me like this for me to put all my eggs in this basket and i've been fighting this you guys have been following me on this journey you know that i've gone through this before and i just push through it and push through it and push through it but then it gets to the point where it's like I don't know, you gotta learn to pick your battles, I suppose. And deep down, I always wanted to make a more personal channel, but commit more to that, but step away from the psychedelic. So if you guys only care about the psychedelic stuff, then do not subscribe to this channel. That's what your mate Tommy's for. However, those who have always enjoyed my self-development content, my grounded spirituality, exploring different cultures, traveling, my relationship, you know, the Tom and Yesenia dimension, all that kind of stuff, then this is going to be right up your alley and I'm very, very excited to begin this new journey. Now, a lot of you have told me that I should start a Rumble account to put all my more uncensored, controversial content. So I'll leave a link in the description box below. Subscribe there and that's where all my deleted content, videos where I can have more creative liberty, I suppose, when it comes to psychedelics, because I still think that this is very important. It's not that I'm just abandoning the topics of psychedelics, but it's just not the right business and career move 
when it comes to YouTube because if my YouTube channel gets deleted, I'm screwed. And so I have to be very careful and learn to play the game. I have to be smart about this. But I appreciate all you guys, truly. I just no longer want to feel like I'm in this box and it's like, oh, I, w I want to make this kind of video, but I, I can't because Big Daddy YouTube is going to punish me. And it's just no way to live, man. To be a, an authentic, creative artist, you just you got to take those risks. But not paying the price of losing your entire channel because then what? But besides all this drama, life has been very good to me. I just got married. Woohoo! And the wedding was, honestly, it was like a psychedelic spiritual transcendent experience where time stood still and I was in this surreal dreamlike state it was honestly one of the best experiences of my life and I'm very grateful that I got to marry my soulmate Yesenia I actually have a video of me proposing to her and this is a beautiful video you can check it out on my new channel at Tom Camposano I also came back from Mexico from a life-changing retreat that I co-hosted with Dakota and, and virtually everyone said that it was the most life-changing experiences of their life and it's funny how your intention for these retreats is like yeah we're going to go on a cool adventure retreat where we get to explore these unique parts of Mexico and delve deep into the culture and all that kind of stuff and that's definitely a big part of it but the side effect of that retreat ended up being very spiritual transformative for a lot of people so i think that this is definitely a, a good sign that i'm on the right path and to continue these retreats and if you are interested we still have a mexico retreat next year around it, it hasn't been officially confirmed the date so those who have emailed me I'll, i will get back to you uh we just haven't locked in exactly when but around maybe late september october and we also have a turkey retreat this march so just in three months we're gonna go see Gobekli Tepe, one of the oldest civilizations on planet Earth, and uncover the mysteries. And I'm so excited. If this kind of stuff interests you, please feel free to check out the link and join us on this epic adventure. I'd love to see you there. Like, I wanna make this video quick, but I kinda of wanna catch up with you guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these, like, hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, not much, mate, not much. Bit of this, bit of that, you know what I mean? But I think with all of this, the lesson for me anyway has been to just don't resist, man. Because sometimes you have a deep intuition inside of what to do, but you're maybe too afraid to let go of the old because this particular path has been working for me so well. I'm comfortable. Sometimes the comfort zone can cause death, death of growth, death of your self-development, death of continuing this journey and progressing and opening new doors and so i think it's time to just go integrate everything that i've learned on this youtube journey which has been incredible it's taught me so many life skills editing photography videography speaking interviewing people skills all this kind of stuff sometimes you just gotta try new things experiment especially that i'm still relatively young i mean i'm 30 maybe for you youngins i'm an old bastard <laughs> I still feel young. I feel like I'm still in the beginning stages of my journey, but since getting married and reaching 30, the weight of responsibility starts to dawn on you. Just having fun and chasing pleasure becomes less important. In fact, you start to realize more and more that it's a hedonistic trap because life isn't just about having fun. Life isn't just about being happy. Emotions are like seasons. They come and they go. Sometimes it rains. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's spring. Sometimes you feel sad, sometimes you feel peace. And this is why I think that doing the work is the most important and learning to regulate your emotions or at least doing the thing that you have to do no matter how you feel. Whether you're feeling sad or you're feeling happy, go to the gym, make your bed, do the work that you need to do. Keep growing, keep learning, no matter how you feel because if you rely on this lovey dovey happy oh i must be in a high vibration then i can do my work like this is the trap that i've fell into so many times where i do this one hour morning ritual and i'd have to do this 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 and this i have to have a cold shower i have to meditate then i got to pray then i got to do this then i got to do this okay then my mind will be in this perfect zen state and then i can do my work which is bullshit it's like meditating only when you have your 432 hertz binaural beats in your comfy cushion pillow and no one's home and you have complete peace and quiet but that's not real life man there's a lot of chaos out there and you've got to learn to do these practices no matter what's happening 
around you. The same goes for work and growth and all this kind of stuff. So this is a lesson that just keeps coming back to me over and over again, where I would fall into the trap of using spirituality as like this crutch where I'll think that I'm learning and growing and in some degree, I guess I was, but sometimes I used it as this distraction versus just, maybe I should just do work. <laughs> maybe I should just go to the gym and work out or make a video or get coached by a mentor who's ahead of the game than me. Things like this. If anything happens to this channel, follow me on Instagram at yourmatetom3 or Rumble, which I'll make an account. I'll leave a link. That's where I'll put the more uncensored psychedelic documentaries and such. And of course, most importantly, follow me on my new channel at Tom Camposano. We learn as we go along and I hope to see you there. Love you guys and I truly wish you the best. Sending you lots of prosperity, love, wisdom, wealth, health and all that good stuff. Much love. Catch you soon.